In this demo, we're going to look at how you submit a document electronically to your instructor by using the assignment feature as opposed to the digital Dropbox or posting something onto the discussion board. So let's go into the course. And for the orientation, we'll go here to Assignments. And you need to submit a document, which is right here. And this is the same document that you used for the discussion boards, or feel free to um, post something different. Just make sure it's in one of these formats. Microsoft Word compatible, but not Word 2007. Rich text format, plain text, or portable document format, or PDF. Now basically you'll notice that in an assignment, there's information here from the instructor about what to do there may be an attachment file that you're given and then in the second area is a place where you can post your file you don't have to type anything in here but if you just had a short assignment from your professor you may be able to enter the information here maybe a sentence or two or three what we're looking for here is the attach local file box here and we're going to click on browse and my documents on the desktop it's an introduction file that was used to post the document to the discussion board. And I'll go ahead and select that and click open. Now if I had more than one document to submit, I could click on this add another document button that's right here. And I would be able to go search for another document and post it. But I don't at this instance, so I'm going to go ahead and submit this. Now down at the bottom here, you'll notice that there is a cancel button, a save button, and a submit button. Now those of you familiar with the digital Dropbox will know that there was a save and submit button there as well. Uh, what the save button does here is it allows you to upload, maybe you've got two or three documents you have to submit. You could prepare one of those, upload it, and then hit save and then come back and finish the rest later. Or maybe you're entering in text in this box. You want to check out a fact or something before you submitted it. You could save it, log back in later and complete the assignment. But before it is completed and before your instructor will receive it, you have to hit the submit button. So here I'm going to click submit and then I'm going to click OK. Now if I go back down to the assignment, this is the assignment I clicked on. Now to complete an assignment, you can either click on this link or you can click down here on the view slash complete assignment link. Either one will take you to the same place. Now once a document has been submitted, one of the nice things about the assignment feature is, is that if you click on this link again, it will tell you, well you've already completed this assignment, click OK to view the results. So you click OK. Now you'll notice here's the document that I attached and submitted. Now I can click on this document now and it'll reopen it. So then I have the peace of mind that this document has been submitted and it's something my instructor can read as long as I submit it in the format that I was told to submit it in. So this, as this document opens, we'll take a look at it. Okay, now the document is opened, and that is the document that I submitted. Now there's no reason for you to have to email your instructor to make sure that they have received and can read your documents. You're able to come in here at any time and check on that. You can also get there through the My Grades link here on the menu on the left-hand side. Now you'll notice down in Area 3 there's an exclamation point next to where it says exclamation point out of one point. This assignment was worth one point. The exclamation point means that the assignment has to be graded. If I go in and look at my grades, I'm going to see the same thing there. So let's go take a look at that. And then we'll take a look at what will happen, or what you will see once that item has been graded. And if we click on my grades, once again we've got a red exclamation point here. And if I click on that, it's going to take me back to the same place. So 
So let me go ahead and hit the back arrow here and go back one more time. Now I'm going to pause the recording and go grade this assignment as an instructor and then we'll go back in and see what it looks like once it's been graded. Okay, now I'm back and I've graded this assignment as an instructor and we're going to go back in and take a look at it. So here's that link to take me in to the assignment again. Once again we get the indication that it's been completed and I'll click OK to view results. Now if I scroll down you'll notice I have now have a grade of 1 out of 1 so the assignment was worth 1 point I got 1 point for it and you'll notice I've also entered in a comment here of well done. Uh, if the instructor wanted to send back an electronic file to you that would appear here in this next area so we're going to go ahead and click OK. We're also going to go to My Grades and look again. Now, once again, you see that it's got a check mark saying that it's been completed. Now, if I click on this, it's going to take me into that same area again. Now, another thing I can do is click on View Comments. If I don't need to go in and look at the assignment again, I just want to see the comments. I can see that it's been graded from the previous screen and now on this screen I can see that um, what comments the instructor has provided for this assignment. So go ahead and click OK. And that is how the assignment manager works. And Like I said, you'll find some courses that no longer use Digital Dropbox. In fact, we recommend that people do away with the Digital Dropbox and go to this assignment feature. The upside for you is is that as soon as that assignment is submitted you'll see that the assignment submitted you can go check those files and double check them and make sure they're okay that you submitted the right documents and then as soon as that item is graded you'll have a grade entered so that's all for this demo